for a really nice limited edition 1959 Smith Cronus Sterling. That was it was just the one year that they did some um, some special colors for their typewriters, and uh, this is the green one. This one is in spectacular shape. It is an elite typewriter, 100 characters across the plate, 12 characters per inch. Uh, so this is just a really really nice machine for honestly anyone who wants to write um, the, the one drawback if you will it's not really a drawback it doesn't have uh, settable tabs it's got tap little literal metal tabs in the back that slide into place where you want them got some in there so you can see what tabbing with those looks like um, you can always take them off and then you've got a nice fast forward. Anyways, the tabs work great. They're just not, uh, some of the later machines have them settable on the side. Um, I think if there's anything else about this typewriter, um, as I said, it's just in spectacular shape and it comes with a limited edition case as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to be typing a poem by W.S. Merwin. I like him a lot. This is called Into October. All right, so now you saw the caps lock works and the red works, and we'll get into the poem here. hard enough, but I say this all the time, these Smith Coronas are such forgiving machines. Um, they allow you to mess up and uh, and still fix your problem. So, not every time, obviously you can hit two keys at once or whatever, but uh, it's just really nice compared to other typewriters. I swear, I make fewer mistakes on Smith Coronas in general. Thing about this, uh, some elite typewriters have a larger font. Uh, you can't really tell that it's elite. This is definitely a small type, so it's really easy to tell that this is an elite typewriter. You're cramming more letters onto the page. You just used a word I've never heard before. Eglantine, Eglantine, E-G-L-A-N-T-I-N-E. Gonna have to go look that one up. All right, no period for this poem. He's a contrarian. So we're all finished, it's looking great.
All right. So now we'll do the, the type test. So you can see that all the, all the characters and keys are working, look right, vertical alignment is set, all that stuff. Also, this is my alphabet test, make sure I remember it. numbers. There's no one key. We use lowercase l for that. So we'll just do everything else. And now the characters. Honestly, I think these elite typewriters are such, uh, the manual ones, they're such feats of engineering, cramming all these tiny letters onto the page. Anyone, there, there's the uh, Smith Corona Sterling in beautiful condition, near mint. And here's the, uh, the finished typing test. Thanks for watching.